Video presented to you by Unique to Billions e-learning. Please subscribe it and press the bell icon. The principle of consistency. Consider some times. T1 less than T2 less than T3 less than T4. Consider a special case in which a person invests at time T1 and withdraws all the amount at time T2. What will be the accumulation factor? I can write as a T1 T2. And if the same person reinvests the whole amount at time T2 immediately, then what will be the accumulation factor at time T3? I can write here as a T2 T3. And if he withdraws all the amount at time T3 and redeposit immediately and then the accumulation factor at time T4 will be a T3 T4. Let us consider this as person 1. Let a second person invest at time T1 and withdraws only at time T4. If any of these persons gains something due to the course of action, then that market is inconsistent. So if market is consistent, then these proceeds should not depend on the course of action taken by the investor. So the principle of consistency can be written as a T1 T4 must be equal to A T1 T2 into A T2 T3 into A T3 T4. So in general I have to write A T0 Tn must be equal to a T1 T2 into A T2 T3 etc. up to A T n minus 1 T n. This is called principle of consistency. What this equation says about if an in investor deposit $1000 for 5 years then I have to write 1000 into A05 must be equal to 1000 into A01 into A12 into A25 like that it can be a 2 3 3 4 4 5 or something like this this equation says that the person deposited for the whole five periods must be same as a person who has deposited for one period withdrawn it immediately deposited for another one period and withdrawn it immediately deposited for another three years i can write many such equations like this. Let me understand more about this with a numerical. An investor deposits dollar one thousand in a bank account that pays ten percentage interest per annum. Compare how much the investor would have after three years if the money were one invested for three years, two invested for one year, and then immediately reinvested for two more years calculate case one interest rate given is simple interest and case two interest rate given is compound interest we are going to calculate case one that is interest rate given is simple interest question number one is invested for three years that means n is equal to three i 
is equal to 10 percentage that is equal to 10 by 100 to remove percentage that is equal to 0.1. I am going to do it by first calculating the accumulation factor and then multiplying with the, the principle. So, the accumulation factor for A03 in simple interest case that is equal to 1 plus Ni that is equal to 1 plus 3 into 0.1 that is equal to 1.3. The accumulated value is given as C into A03 where C is 1000. So, 1000 into 1 1.3 that is equal to 1300 dollar. I am going to do the second question here. In this case, the person first invested for one year and then withdraw the full amount immediately reinvested for another two years. So, there are two cases here. In the first case, n is equal to 1. We know i, there is no difference, it is 0 0.1, we already calculated here. Here, the accumulated factor is a. 0 1 that is equal to 1 plus 1 into 0 0.1 that is equal to 1.1. So, the accumulated amount C into A 0 1 that is equal to 1000 into 1.1 1 .1, that is equal to 1100 dollar. In this case, this amount that is 1100 is reinvested immediately for two more years. Therefore, the second case will be n is equal to 2, i is same as 0 0.1. So, the accumulation factor I can write here is a 1 3. Why? Because it is reinvested at time 1 for another 2 years so that 3 minus 1 is 2. That is equal to 1 plus n is equal to 2 into 0 0.1 that is equal to 1.2. The accumulated amount is given by the equation A13 into C where C is the principal. So, here C is 1100 in this case into 1.2 that is obtained as dollar 1320. So, let us have a slight comparison between the case 1 and case 2. In case 1 you can see the accumulated amount after 3 years is 1300, but in the second case the accumulated amount after 3 years is 1320. So, his course of action that is he withdrawn the amount at the end of period 1 and redeposited immediately for another 2 years. So, course of action changes the accumulated amount. Now, we are going to see case 2 where the interest rate is compound interest. So, case 2 compound interest. Here also we will do it side by side so that you can easily understand it. Question number 1 we know n is equal to 3 i the rate of interest is equal to 0 0.1 we already calculated in the previous case. It will be same here also what is the accumulation factor A03 in compound interest case? It is 1 plus i the whole raised to n that is given us 1 plus 0 0.1 the whole q that is equal to 1.331. Now, what is the accumulated amount? It is given by the formula C into A. 03 that is equal to 1000 into 
1.331 that is equal to 1331 dollar so we calculated the accumulated value at the end of third period if deposited at zero withdrawn at the end of third period second case first it is deposited for one year then withdrawn so we are going to calculate with n is equal to 1 as we calculated for simple interest case accumulation factor is given as a01 that is equal to 1 plus i the whole raised to 1 that is equal to 1 plus 0.1 the whole raised to 1 that is equal to 1.1 the accumulated amount is given by the equation c into a01 where c is 1000 into a01 is 1.1 that is equal to 1100 and immediately this 1100 is redeposited for another two years in the second case n is equal to 2 and i is same as 0.1 so the accumulation factor i can return here as a13 is equal to 1 plus i the whole square that is equal to 1 plus 0.1 the whole square that i can write here it as 1.1 square which is 1.21 the accumulated amount the equation is c into a13 which is equal to 1100 into 1.21 why i write 1100 here because this is the accumulated amount at the end of period 1 which is redeposited immediately therefore 1100 into 1.21 that is equal to 1331 dollar so when compound interest is the case there is no difference in the accumulated amount due to the course of action taken by the investor so compound interest is a case which follows the principle of consistency because the accumulated amount is not dependent on the course of action taken by the investor thank you for watching this video if you are not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe it also please like and share this video.